Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So today I figured I would just sit down and do a get ready with me. Just chill, hang out, put some makeup on. I have a couple new goodies that I got in PR and then an order I made from Ofra Cosmetics to try some new goodies out. And other than that, I just feel like I haven't been doing get ready with me's at all recently. I've been doing just a lot of sitting down, talking to you face to face about makeup, not really applying it to my face, which I love those type of videos. I've said this a million times and I'll say it a million times more. My favorite thing to do is just sit down in front of my phone and talk to you guys about makeup. <laughs> I love it. And I've just been doing a lot of those type of videos recently and I wanna make sure I'm still sprinkling in Get Ready With Me's here and there because I love doing them and I feel like you guys enjoy watching them. I know they're more old school YouTube, but I just think they're so much fun. So I really wanna make sure I make a conscious effort of still applying makeup and doing get ready with me's for you guys. So that is what we're going to be doing here today. Just chilling, getting ready. I have a couple videos I want to film after this, so I needed to get ready anyways. And yeah, before we get started, don't forget to upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday for you guys. And other than that, if you're excited and you want to just chill, hang out, get ready with me, then let's go ahead and get started. All right, before I turn the camera on, I went ahead and put on my Wonder Beauty Lip Retreat Oil. I have been loving this stuff. I use it all of the time. And then I already primed my eyes with my MAC Paint Pot. I did not set it though. I don't think I'm going to. What I figured we were going to do for the eyes today, I figured we would play with my Natasha Denona Glam Palette. I just haven't played with this in a while and I really, really want to because I love these colors. I just, I love this palette so much. But also I wanted to try out this Ilia, what exactly is this called? Their Liquid Powder Chromatic Eye Tint and I have the shade Hatch. It's like this really pretty greeny olivey shade it looks stunning one of my friends was so kind and sent me a little beauty box of items that she either had extras of or just weren't really working out for her and she knows i love green eyeshadow so she had an extra one of these Ilia eye tint things and um yeah she sent it to me to try out and i'm so so excited because i do love green eyeshadow she is right and i've heard really good things about this formula so i figured we would kind of combine the palette and this together. So that's what we're gonna do here today. I'm gonna go ahead and take this transition shade and put it in my transition. So you guys wouldn't know this because I did some pre-filming so I wouldn't miss an upload, but I have not filmed in two whole weeks because I took last weekend off last Friday. I went ahead and got my second dose of the COVID-19 vaccine and it, it put me on my butt the next day. That Saturday I was I felt like a truck hit me. I felt terrible. I was exhausted. I was so achy. My back was killing me. I literally sat on the couch on a heating pad and watched YouTube pretty much all day long. I had a headache. I had a fever. I just did not feel well, which I anticipated that. So that's why I went ahead and kind of did some pre-filming so I wouldn't miss an upload. But because of that, and then I worked all the next week, I have not filmed in two weeks and I miss it. And I told Mike last night as we were getting ready to go to bed, I turned to him and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm really excited to film tomorrow. I haven't done it in two weeks. And he was like, that's good, that's good, babe. So yeah, I'm excited to be sitting down here for you guys. Got that transition shade all built up. I am now gonna go in to crease and just kind of like deepen it a little bit. Going back to the vaccine, it really wasn't that bad. If you are wondering about it, I really, I mean, I felt terrible that Saturday, but it only lasted a day and then I was fine. And I got pretty much the same symptoms the first dose. It just was kind of more intense and more, just more on the second dose. Um, so I didn't have any new symptoms the second dose. So if you get the first one and you have symptoms, that's probably what you can expect for the second symptoms from the second dose in my experience. But I mean, yeah, I felt like crap for that one day. But honestly, I feel like it's worth it to have the you know, peace of mind. Don't want to get too political or anything. Like, obviously, if you don't want to get it, that is your prerogative. But I got it, and I'm really happy that I did. And I will be really happy when Mike can finally get vaccinated, too. I mean, he's a young, healthy male that works from home, so he's not really high up on the priority list, which makes sense. Okay, that didn't really deepen it too, too much. So I feel like this is more of like a cool toned color so I think I'm gonna go I'm gonna go into lash line but I'm gonna do it like really lightly I don't want to deepen it too too much there we go that's what I wanted I'm gonna take the brush I always use to alleviate this skipping in here I really wish my eyes didn't do this I just don't understand <laughs> all right I guess I'm gonna take this now I don't I really know I'm just gonna swipe it on I guess I've never used this 
formula before. I don't know how fast it dries. I don't really know much about it, but we're just going to, I guess, swipe this on. I'm just gonna take my finger and blend out this edge because I don't want there to be a sharp edge. I think I like this though. I really like this shade a lot. I love green eyeshadow. And this is looking really pretty. Let me do the other eye. Okay, I actually really, really like how this looks. I love how like cool tone, grungy this green shade is. It is really, really pretty. I'm not gonna lie. My eyelids are kind of burning a little bit. I don't know, but like both of them are burning right now. Hmm. Not enough for me to like take it off, but they're burning, they're burning. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave my eyes there for now. Anyways, though, I'm not gonna do really anything else. I might end up adding a shimmer like in the middle or on top or something later from the palette. I don't know, I'm gonna keep it here for now though. So let's move on to the face. If you see what's going on with my neck, just ignore it. I literally have no idea. My, it's like my skin is so dry and red and itchy and I've been putting lotion on it, but it's just, it's just there. So uh, please, please ignore that if you notice. I've been trying to like keep my hair on it so you can't see, but I figured, you know what? I should probably address it in case you're like, why is your neck red and looks like scaly and gross? Oh, uh, cause it is. <laughs> um, before we move on to foundation and primer and all of that, I'm gonna use my Becca under eye corrector. Okay, obviously I'm sure you've heard by now the news that Becca is shutting down, shutting their doors in September of this year and I've been watching a bunch of videos on it and people's thoughts on what they think it means for the beauty industry and all that. And it's very intriguing and very interesting and very sad, but I've seen a lot of people talking about this and I'm like, I have that and I like never reach for it and use it. So I'm going to use it today. Watch me like completely fall in love with it and be like, wow, cool. I can't buy it anymore, but that's okay. I've heard that there are some dupes for this anyway. So I'm just going to take my little Cloven Hollow uh, Precision Buffer Brush and I'm just going to put a little bit on there and then tap that under my eyes. I feel like I have pretty intense dark circles, but it's not really too intense to where concealer doesn't cover it up, if that makes sense. So I never feel like I need to use this. I don't even remember why I bought it. I feel like I got it on sale, but like, yeah, look at that difference. That That's crazy between the side and the side. Hmm. I don't know. I am a little nervous at this because that this is going to make my concealer crease even more. I already have issues with my concealers creasing, but hopefully not. I guess we shall see. I'm going to go ahead and like tap it out with my fingers, try to get the excess off. Okay. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. Not going to lie. For a primer, I'm going to use my Smashbox Primerizer. I've been really trying to use a lot of this because it is like two years old and I don't know. I didn't realize it was that old. So I've been trying to, I guess, not really use it up because I don't, I like it. I don't want it to be gone, but I also don't want it to go bad. So I've just been trying to use it a lot recently. And then for foundation, I'm going to use my Rare Beauty foundation. My friend Esty recently did a foundation Friday on this. I can link it down below for you for you to check her out if you do not subscribe to her already. She is awesome and I highly recommend you guys checking her out. You've probably seen her on my channel before. I've collabed with her two times so far and she's just the, the bomb. She, I love her. But she recently did a foundation Friday on the Rare Beauty foundation and I was like, who? okay i have not pulled this out and used it in a very very long time and watching her use it and it just looked beautiful on her skin and wore really well all day she did a, she did an eight hour wear test and I, it made me want to pull this out and use it so that's what we're using today i have the shade 130n and we're just going to stripe it on my face i will say this isn't my favorite foundation i haven't reached for it for a reason um i just feel like it emphasizes my pores and it can be pretty drying on my skin. I mean, I did use that primerizer uh, primer, so I'm hoping that that helps, but it just looks so pretty on her that I was like, oh, I should probably pull this out and give it another chance. Yeah, I just feel like it emphasizes my pores so bad. I don't know why. It's also like insanely liquidy and it just gets like everywhere. I feel like it makes a mess every time I use it. So that's another thing I don't love. I don't know. Like, do you see how like just everywhere? It is very thin though, which I do like that. I do like how thin on my face it is. Okay, I got this all blended out. I put about two layers on my cheeks. 
Um, I've been reminded that this is not my favorite foundation ever. It's not the worst foundation I've ever used by any means whatsoever, but it just doesn't look as good on my skin as I feel like I would wish it did, if that makes sense. Like it just looks kind of like dry and cakey on my nose and it just really, really emphasizes my pores. I don't know if you are gonna be able to see on camera at all, but I mean, it's not the worst foundation ever, but it's definitely not my favorite. I don't, I don't know how I feel about it right now. I don't know if I'm going to end up decluttering it in the future or not, but it's, it's on my face now, so we're going with it. I was gonna use my Rare Beauty concealer, but just to like stick in with the Rare Beauty theme, but I really don't care for that concealer either. So I am gonna use my Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue because I love this concealer, and I rather would just use something that I know I really love and I know I'm gonna love how it looks on my skin. My skin is in a rough place right now. I mean, clearly, <laughs> but even on my face, I'm like just breaking out like crazy. So do I have the best skin to put the Rare Beauty foundation on? No, no I don't. I feel like I'm almost out of this and I'm gonna be so sad when it's gone. I and mean, then I'll probably just buy it again, but <laughs> I love this concealer. Okay, I got my concealer all blended out and then I went ahead and set my face with my ABH Loose Setting Powder in Vanilla. I just wasn't loving my base and usually this helps like perfect it and make it look amazing and um, it's still just looking a little dry. Also, I love this concealer, like I just said. I, I just love it, it always looks good on me and right now, I feel like it's looking weird. Um, I feel like it oxidized and got darker than it normally looks when I put the powder on it and I mean, the only thing I did different was use this under eye corrector. So, I'm not loving this right now and I, f I don't know, I think that like my blue is coming through more than it would if I just used my concealer. So I'm gonna have to keep playing around with this. That must be why I haven't reached for it in a while. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that, but we're gonna we're gonna move on. It's not it's not the end of the world. Next up, I got some new goodies that I bought from Ofra. I am so excited. I had a 20% off. I mean, a bunch of people have 20% off codes, so I forget which one I used. I think Rakuten, because I think it automatically came up when I was placing my order to um, put in that code. I like downloaded the extension and it automatically pops up. Anyways, so I got 20% off these two items that I purchased. And the first one I bought was the River Bronzer Duo, their collaboration with Samantha March. I am so excited to try this out. I love Samantha March. I think she is awesome. I think her videos are just so great she puts so much time and effort into her social media accounts you can tell between her tiktok her instagram and her um youtube channel she's always pumping up videos she's just really really great and she's very very supportive so i i just really really like her so i wanted to support her back and buy her bronzer duo i am so excited to be trying this out this side is a more shimmery side and this side is a more matte side and i swatched it earlier for a picture and it didn't look too shimmery which is what i was afraid of honestly i was like that was my hesitation for buying it up until now because i was like mm, i don't know what if that shimmery side is too shimmery and when i swatched it it wasn't so i'm excited to try this out i'm just gonna mix them both all together and see what happens i am the only thing i'm worried about is it being a little too warm on my skin so we will see right now it's kind of powdery in the pan it had quite a lot of kick up like a really light handed oh yeah that's that's warm which I am very fair, so a lot of bronzers tend to be very, very warm on me, but it's blending out really nice. I think it's, this is just gonna be one I'm gonna have to really go in with a light hand or use it um, when I'm a little bit tanner later in the year. But that looks really pretty. Okay, let me get my big fluffy brush to help diffuse this. I'm just gonna like tap it in there. I've never tried an Ofra bronzer before. I've only tried their highlights. That looks really pretty though. That's blending out very nicely. It's not like getting patchy or anything. I'm not gonna fault it too much on this cheek because I have this really big nasty breakout here that it's getting a little bit patchy over, but this is really, really dry and the foundation is already kind of dry on my skin. So I'm not gonna fault the bronzer over here because it's not looking its best, but on this side, it's looking pretty good. Okay, I think I really like this bronzer. It is on the warmer side for sure. Um, obviously I have very fair skin though, so I don't mind that because that means it'll work for a lot of skin tones, which I think is awesome. And like I said, it's looking really pretty. It's not getting patchy. There is a slight luminosity to it, but it's not 
to Sheeny at all, which was my fear with this bronzer buying it. I am really, really like this. I think it is a really beautiful bronzer and I am so excited that I finally purchased it. Also in that O for order, I went ahead and ordered the new Milk and Cookies highlighter. This is a collab with Steph Toms. So I don't really know who that is. Um, I had never heard of her, but through this collaboration with Oprah, I have discovered her and I've watched a couple of her YouTube videos and she's awesome and stunning. Holy moly, is she beautiful. And she just seems like a really down to earth kind of girl. And this is what I mean when I want smaller creators to have an opportunity to collab with people. I mean, not that Steph Toms is really that small of a creator. She has hundreds of thousands of followers, but it's still really cool to see a YouTuber collab with a brand. I know Ofra is really great about collabing with influencers and this is no exception. And I just thought that this looks so beautiful and I'm so excited that I discovered her and her channel through this collaboration. And this just looks beautiful. So this is the milk side and this is the cookie side. And they look just stunning, like so, so beautiful. I actually think I'm gonna try to mix them together. I think I'm gonna use a little bit more milk than cookie, but I'm gonna mix them only because um, I think that the cookie, yeah, the cookie one will just be a little bit too dark for me right now. I think it'll be fine in the summertime when I use my Isle of Paradise tanning drops and I am a little bit tanner. So I'm just going to dip between the two, do like one, two, three, or one, one, two. I don't know, I'm going to Oh my gosh. <gasps> wow. I mean, I expected to love this because it's Ofra highlighters and I love Ofra highlighters. I actually just did a highlight declutter. If you have not seen it, I will link it in the eye for you. And I actually ended up decluttering both of the Ofra highlighters that I owned. One was Rodeo Drive and it just was a little bit too deep for me. And the other one was a trio by Nikki Tutorials that had like a really light one, a gold one, and a really deep highlighter. And I just really could only use one of them. It was the really lightest one. I ended up keeping ColourPop Flexitarian instead. Um, you you will see all that if I, uh, and now you don't have to watch the video because I just like gave you a synopsis. But anyways, I actually did declutter both of my Ofra highlighters and I was really, really bummed about it just because I love their formula. Just those particular shades either didn't really work out for me that well or I wasn't reaching for them. So when I saw this collaboration, I was like, oh yeah, that is definitely something that I would wear. And I already know I love the Ofra formula. And like, this is no exception. Like, look how beautiful. Let me show it on my good cheek because this cheek is, this cheek is not doing well. But oh my gosh. Yeah, that is stunning. And I love the mixture of the two of them. I like how this is customizable. You can go in with just this one, just this one, or mix them. So you're really getting like, three highlighters in one, which I think is really cool. Look, oh my gosh, it looks wet. That is beautiful. Oh yeah, I'm glad I bought this. I had a feeling I would love it, but uh, I definitely do. This is a win, this is a win. Both my Ofra ones were a win. I'm happy, I'm really glad I bought both of them. For blush, I'm gonna go ahead and use my e.l.f. Always Hazy blush. I've been trying, you guys, to use a different blush, but I just can't. <laughs> I just love this one so much. And then for brows, Huda Beauty actually sent over their new Bomb Brows. I believe that's what it's called. Yeah, they're Bomb Brows. That is their micro shade brow pencil. They sent me over in PR two shades. They sent me Light Brown and Caramel Blonde. Um, I don't think the Caramel Blonde will really work out for me, but it's really hard to tell because look how tiny, like, I, look how tiny. <laughs> this is such a microscopic pencil. It is like, I, I don't even know. I don't, I, I'm excited to try it out. I'm a little afraid it's going to break because it is um, such a tiny little pencil. Yeah, like I was just watching it and it broke off and I didn't even have it like rolled up very high at all. And then they also sent me um, light brown. So let me swatch this one and try to figure out. I think I'm going to be light brown. Okay, they look pretty much the same. <laughs> this one, yeah, they look the same. But the top one is the light brown and the bottom one is the caramel one. Yeah, they look the same. So I'm just going to go ahead and go in with the light brown. I'm excited though because since this is such a tiny pencil, I feel like I'm definitely going to be able to get like really nice hair-like strokes with it. Yeah, okay. That looks good. I don't think I would have got this shade myself. I probably would have got one a little bit deeper. But this is making it so easy to make like really light strokes. If you're someone who needs to fill in a lot of brow hair, I don't know if this would necessarily be good for you just because I feel like it would take you a long time because it is so tiny. It doesn't cover a lot of ground 
at once, if that makes sense. But I feel like I don't have a ton of brows to fill in. And yeah, I'm liking this. Again, I don't think I would have picked this color. It's a little warm for my brows. I feel like my brows are definitely a little bit more cool toned, but this is nice. And it's not breaking off now. It did when I was watching it. Maybe I just, you know, went a little too hard when I was watching it. Okay, I think I like that. I really do. I, like I said, when I first opened this up, I was shook at how <laughs> tiny it was. And it also comes with a spoolie on the other side, which is really, really nice always appreciate a spoolie. I'm kind of impressed. I don't like the shape. I know I saw, um, I forget who was talking about this, but they said that they wished every brand, I feel like it was Smoky Glow, they wished every brand would come with this more like triangular shape because then it wouldn't roll around on your desk, which I understand can be annoying, but then it's like kind of hard to get the cap on. So like, I feel like it only goes on a, yeah, it only goes on like a certain way. Yeah. So that's kind of annoying, <laughs> um, but I think I like this so far. I Like I said, it was really easy to make like little tiny strokes and it looks good in my brows. I am assuming it will wear well just because it's Huda and I feel like they're a really good brand and I like a lot of things by this. Let me try to show you a comparison between the Benefit Precisely My Brow, which is already supposed to be a really tiny pencil. And then this one, I put a picture up of the two on my Instagram account, but if you didn't see it, like look at the difference. Look how much smaller the Huda one is. It's so tiny compared to the Benefit Precisely My Brow. I don't have the ABH Brow Wiz um, anymore to compare it to. I wish I did, but I used it all up a while back and um, I just didn't repurchase this. So yeah, this is tiny, but I'm liking it so far. I'll keep you guys updated on my thoughts. Okay, I set my brows really quickly with the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter that I got in my Ipsy Glam bag last month, I believe. I'm not gonna finish up my lower lash line. All I'm gonna do is mix together this crease and transition shade and run that along my lower lash line. And then for my inner corner and brow bone highlight, I'm gonna go ahead and just take that milk shade from the bronzer, or highlight duo. Then for a mascara, I'm gonna use my Oma Drama Bomb little mini mascara. I really, really like this. I think I've only used it a couple times, but the couple times I've used it, I was super impressed by it. It has a massive wand <laughs> and a really strong perfume scent. So neither of those things I really love, but I really like how it makes my lashes look. So like you can't tell me my eyelashes don't look good. And I have like really finicky eyelashes to where they like to clump and not look that great. I don't know, I just feel like this mascara makes it look good. Update on the Ilia liquid eyeshadow. Um, the burning sensation is gone. It was gone pretty much by the time I was ready to do my foundation and all of that. So it only lasted a couple seconds, but like how odd? Why does it do that? I don't understand. For lips, I'm gonna use my Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Lipstick in the shade Beatrice. And then for setting spray, I'm going to use the Benefit, the Professional Super Setter. I have not made up my mind on this setting spray yet. I don't know how I feel about it. I think I like it, but I don't know if it really does all of the claims that it has. So I'm going to have to keep testing it. And that was it, you guys. That was my get ready with me. I'm just was chilling, hanging out, getting ready. Needed to anyways, because I'm about to film my March Ipsy Glam Bag and Glam Bag Plus unboxing. I have not opened it yet. I got it in the mail yesterday and I am so excited to see what is in it. I cannot wait. So I'm gonna go film it like right now. <laughs> but this is the final look for you guys. I really like how it turned out. I know the eyes are pretty simple. They're not anything too crazy, but I personally like seeing those types of looks on Get Ready With Me's only because they're just achievable and they're attainable and they're looks that I feel like most people would feel comfortable going out and about in the world wearing. I love, don't get me wrong, I love doing like colorful, fun looks that are a little bit outside of my comfort zone, but just for like chilling, getting ready, hanging out, I don't feel the need to do anything too crazy, if that makes sense. But I really, really like how this eye look turned out. I really, minus the burning, I really like the Ilia little liquid eyeshadow I used. The other two new goodies that I tried out today were the Ofra bronzer and highlight. And I'm really impressed by both of them. The bronzer is a little bit warm for me, so I definitely am gonna have to be light-handed and be careful with it whenever I use it. But I think it's going to be stunning in the summer when I have a little bit of a tan going on. And I just really love Smith March. I wanted to support her. And then this highlight is just stunning. I had a feeling I would like it just because 
Old Forest highlights are amazing, but like these two shades together are just beautiful. So I'm super, super impressed by both of those. And I just, I had fun today, you guys. I had fun sitting down, hanging out, putting makeup on. I hadn't properly put makeup on in two weeks. Not only did I not film for two weeks, I just hadn't properly put a full face of makeup on in two weeks because I didn't put any on last week when I wasn't feeling well. And then throughout the week for work, I just used powder, foundation, mascara, and um, brows. That's it. So I don't wear a lot of makeup throughout the week either. So I just had a lot of fun. I feel good. I love putting on makeup and this was just fun therapeutic to sit down, relax, put some makeup on. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked hanging out with me today. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of your day with me. I appreciate it so much. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. You're awesome. I love you. Please subscribe if you have not yet, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys.